Well, before we start, um, or as we start, I wanted to first acknowledge the fact that we have some guests who've traveled a huge distance to be here today. But regardless of where you've traveled from, it's just incredibly special to both Carson and I that you are all here today. So I want to kick off, there's going to be a lot of these. I want to kick off with an early cheers to you all for being in front of us today. And thank you for sharing this moment. So I should probably mention the reason we're here today, which I'm sure you're all aware, but I am married, which above all is just a huge relief. <laughs> On the subject of Carson, and I know this sounds cliche, but since the moment I met her, I knew that she was the one. I didn't tell her that because, of course, basic dating etiquette dictates if you tell someone they're the one the first time you meet them, they think you're a complete lunatic. <laughs> but by some staggering combination of luck, the fate and coincidence that I'm not entirely sure what I did to deserve, she actually thought the very same thing. And as a result, the last four years with this complete lunatic have been the best of my life. <laughs> Let me begin by thanking all of you, friends and family from near and far, for coming to help us celebrate the wedding of Carson and Chris. Having family and friends together on occasions like this make them all the more enjoyable and memorable. back in 2016. We were absolutely thrilled and delighted to learn about the engagement of Carson and Chris. Um, so now, just over a year later, their marriage is the most fantastic thrill for us, it really is. There's a special feeling that a father has for a daughter, and that is no different with me. I remember well the time when, I, when Carson was about one, one and a half years old, when I first thought about Carson getting married. A song was playing in the background of my office uh, in our embassy in Burkina Faso by a country group called Alabama, and the song was entitled Never Be One. It's a song that a father is singing to his daughter after her first birthday as he realizes that she is growing up and will never be one again. The piano is quiet in the hall as Kermit the Frog sits watching it all. Soon your legs will grow and make the tricycle go and take you away from us all. No, you'll never be one again. The twos are tumbling on in. Daddy's little girl is growing up in the world. You'll never be one again. Good night, baby. Good night, Daddy. It brought a tear to my eye then, <laughs> and it brings a tear to my eye when I recall that song. 
We're gathered here today as Chris and Carson in public make their vows to each other. They've made their vows to each other over years. They've built them, they've lived them, and now they're here to tell us and share with us as they promise each other how they will live together for the rest of their lives. Carson, I love you unconditionally and without hesitation. I vow to love you, encourage you, trust you, and respect you. I commit to sharing your dreams and support you as you strive to achieve your goals. I promise to be faithful and supportive and to always make our family's love and happiness my priority. I will be yours in plenty and in want, in sickness and in health, in failure and in triumph. I will dream with you, celebrate with you, and walk beside you through whatever our lives may bring. You are my true counterpart, my soulmate, my love, my life, today and always. You are surrounded here with those who love you and have been part of your growth individually and together, who have shared fun and celebration, hopes and dreams, failure and triumphs. You have we have celebrated your commitment to each other for the rest of your lives. I invite everyone to take a moment to look around the circle. I love you. <laughs> Chris and Carson, these people will support you in joys and sorrows, growth and disappointment as long as you both shall live. Friends and family, we are joining with those who are here and with all those who love and have loved them as witness to Carson and Chris's promise to make their family's love and happiness their priority in life. And as we promise to support them in their joys and their struggles, as they pursue their callings in life, as they follow their goals and dreams, and as they build their own family. Chris and Carson, you have given your marriage vows to one another witnessed by your friends and family. You have sealed your vows with the giving and receiving of rings. Those gathered here have promised to support you in your brave new voyage. You may now offer each other a sign of love. One of the things I admire most about Carson and Chris as a couple, besides the way their delicate digestive systems have learned to process chia seeds since moving to LA, is their enthusiasm for life. These two are up for anything and always seem to have a good time. In fact, whenever confronted with something I don't feel like doing, I try to ask myself, what would Carson and Chris do? Then I'd remember, I don't want a colonic. So Chris, uh, we know a new phase of life is just beginning for you. We're so happy that you're going to share it with Carson, who we're now delighted to be able to call our daughter-in-law. She's a wonderful person. She's got equally wonderful parents, a wonderful extended family, and it's been a great pleasure to get to know you over the last couple of days, and Mike and Dana over the past few years. 
Carson and Chris, finally, your big day. Lexi and I wish you every possible happiness together. You make a fantastic and lovely couple. Carson, you look so beautiful. We give you the warmest welcome to our family. Thanks for making our little boy very happy. And um, our love to you both. Ladies and gentlemen, Carson and Chris. I want to end by saying that when Chris um, planned hit the proposal to ask Carson to marry him, he looped in several of our friends, and this was something that we had all been communicating about weeks and weeks ahead of time and something that we were so looking forward to, and Chris coordinated several of our fl friends flying across the country to be in Portland at Abby and Tab's house waiting to surprise Carson um, when they got in from this proposal road trip. And it was magical and wonderful, and Chris was filming and I was filming, and we have lots of memories from that trip, but we were so happy to be there to celebrate with you then, and we couldn't be more happy to be here now to celebrate with you and look forward to all the wonderful things that are to come for both of you. wiser man and a better man than me called Muhammad Ali once said about friendship. He said, friendship's the hardest thing in the world to explain. It's not something you learn in school. We definitely learn nothing in school. Um, but if you learn the meaning of friendship, you really haven't learned anything. And for me, friendship is being able to stand up here today with my hand on my heart and tell Carson that she's married a great man, a great man that I've spent some of the best times of my life with and the internet, <laughs> and that she's lucky to experience a fraction of what I have, then she's in for a long and happy life. Carson has been the apple of my eye throughout her life. I've always been proud of her and never ceased to be amazed by the wonderful, caring, talented, gifted and responsible young lady she has become. I have long since come to terms with the fact that I would lose her one day to some young man as fathers eventually do. The sadness that I feel, realizing that Carson will never be one, will never be the little girl that I held in my arms, and will live her, her life apart from Dana and me, is lessened and replaced by the joy that Dana and I feel, knowing that Carson has found Chris, and that he is the one we will entrust Carson's happiness and well-being for the rest of her life. So my remarks end with my thoughts turning to the loss of a daughter who is a remarkable young lady, to the gaining of a son-in-law who is an equally remarkable young man, and their plans for their life together. I raise my glass to Chris and Carson.
Carlson was and is the most incredible person I've ever met. Uh, bypassing the obvious beauty, which speaks for itself. She is incredible. She is warm-hearted. She's absolutely hilarious. No pressure for your speech coming up. <laughs> She's filled with absolutely boundless energy, based on eight hours of sleep every single night, but... More. Minor caveat. She's compassionate, she's empathetic, she's intelligent, which I, no, I thought I wrote that twice. <laughs> Deserves to be written twice. Not great at whistling, but she is quite possibly, most of all, she finds me very, very funny. On top of all that, her joy for life and her positivity is truly infectious. And even though I am still a cynical bastard, I'm only half as cynical as I was when I met you. words anyone who knew me in New York during the time when I met him um, I, actually I heard him first that joke wasn't a lie like I heard his accent and I was like who is that uh, <laughs> oh he's cute and then um, started calling him my boyfriend before I think I even knew his name I was told Patty I was like how's my boyfriend doing for good like yeah two weeks and then um, <laughs> Now he is my husband, so that wasn't creepy at all. It magic. <laughs> I'm so excited to spend the rest of my life with you, and I couldn't. I mean, you balance me completely. You are my other half. I. There are no words. Um, I knew, and anyone who talked to me during that point, because I had fun in New York. I dated a couple people, and um, they'd be like, "Oh, who, <laughs> who's this?" Who's this boy? And I was like, this one's different. And I knew, I, anyone who talked to me during that time period can tell you, I knew that within that first meeting, I knew um, it was different and special. And I'm glad I wasn't wrong and that we're here, here now because everyone would have made fun of me. <laughs> But on that note, I would like to raise a glass to my beautiful wife with my free hand, which feels amazing to finally say. Carson, you do look absolutely incredible today. You have made me happier than I could have ever possibly thought. You make me a, a better person and you make every day that much better. I cannot wait to spend the rest of my life with you adventuring, exploring and laughing with you.